So if you watched Black Ink Crew Chicago Season 1, then you saw your boy Don Bishop cheating on his living girlfriend Ashley with that fine-ass Charmaine from the Nine Mag Tattoo Shop. Now, if you don't know who Charmaine is, now I know she doesn't have anything to do with this story, but I gotta mention her because she's finer than a motherfucker. You need to go look her ass up. I mean, shit, if you need a link to her Simpstagram or her Twitter or something like that so you can go be thirsty, you know, just drop me a message in the comment section. I'll hook you up with a link or something so you can see how extra fine she is. So then that way you can be a thirsty motherfucker. For y'all that don't know how extra fine that Charmaine is. But anyways, apparently he wasn't only messing with Ashley or Charmaine because apparently has a couple kids with somebody else now i don't know whether or not this is before he met ashley during their relationship or if they were on a break or two i don't know all of the details all that i know is that he posted a very interesting message on instagram for his fans as well as a very interesting caption so i'm going to read to you what he said on instagram but the gist of it is he apparently has kids with somebody else which up until now, I did not know about. I don't remember them ever mentioning this on the show. I, the pretty much, his storyline in the show was that he was cheating on Ashley, the woman he's in the picture with, with that fine ass Charmaine. So I'm gonna read to you what he said up on Simpstagram. He said, and I quote, "By the way, excuse me if I butcher this name here, but to Donald and Kinley, been waiting on what I needed to make sure things could be right by you. Most people will never understand or realize every story has two sides." This one is too long to tell. Just know that I will do what's right to make sure you're happy. Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. But anyways, to make sure you're happy. Be there to love you, protect, and teach you. I have made all your mistakes for you. <laughs> so that you don't have to make them as I did. I am not perfect, nor will you be. <laughs> did he really write this to his, to his children? <laughs> anyways, how you write to his girl? Anyway, but you will have someone who will not judge you and always push you. For the record, if you have children, yeah, you're supposed to judge them. You're supposed to put a foot in their ass from time to time, too. <laughs> who will not judge you and will always push you. Things might not have always been right, but I promise to do my duty to be better and greater than I ever been before to you. And then he went on to post this message along with that meme. He said, and I quote, They will always be able to find this one day. Have to address the fact that I never wanted to not be a part of a life. I partially was there patiently waiting on results to confirm. Now that those results are here, I will do my full duty as father to both. I have made my mistakes, but I am long from the man I once was. Hashtag Black Ink Crew. Hashtag Black Ink Crew Chicago. Hashtag Black Love Matters. Hashtag NIMAG. Hashtag NMOL. Not sure what that stands for anyway. Hashtag Only God Can Judge. <laughs> Not an easy journey, but the strong find a way. Got what was needed. Now time to finish making it right. Hashtag two sides to every story. Tell you what, Don Bishop, you may say that only God can judge. But I tell you what, if you ever have to go to court for these children, tell the judge, well, only God can judge. See how the fuck the judge reacts to that. Anybody can judge. It doesn't mean that their judgment will carry any weight. But anybody can judge. And if we don't judge anything in life, then things are going to be fucked up. You have to make judgments in life. You have to make wise judgments. Like not to be screaming at your manager on a reality TV show, acting like a raving lunatic, especially on boats and stuff in front of complete strangers with cameras around and millions of people watching. <sighs> this guy. Anyways. Basically, he got some other chick pregnant other than Ashley or other chicks pregnant. Apparently, he took some DNA tests or something. Obviously, we can conclude that those are the results he's referring to since he's not articulate enough to say somebody took a fucking DNA test. Now, then this shit would be really easy to understand if he said, look, old girl took the DNA test. It's my seed, so I'm going to take care of my child. He could have just said that. But apparently, he wrote things out like this. Oh, you know, I won't judge you. I'll just push you. On a swing? I, I, anyways, the point is this, though. I'm happy that he's in his children's lives. 
That's very important. Please stop cheating on Ashley. I know Charmaine is tempting as hell. You fucked her on the sink at work and broke the sink. I would have done the same thing too. But I wouldn't have cheated on my girl. You know, of course. I, I mean, I, but I would have smashed Charmaine. I just wouldn't have been in a relationship. But anyways, you propose to Ashley. I hope that things work out. But now for the record, people, with all of that said, this is exactly why Black Ink Crew Chicago Season 1 should have had a damn reunion show. VH1, hire me already, damn it. Come on, VH1, get on your job and give me the job of doing these damn reunion shows. I'll do it for a bag of chips and a foot job. Come on, VH1, I'm cheap. I'm just like some project blinds. I'm broke. I'm cheap. And people can see right through me. And what they see in the inside is not pretty. But the outside is not pretty either. But anyways, let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine.